Today, I'm going to show you how to build your very own chat GPT style doc search. Now, we've been testing this at Superbase as well. Um, how can I build my own chat GPT? Uh, let's have a look what it says. And what is happening here is um, we're creating an embedding uh, with the OpenAI API for the query, the user's query. And we are then looking for relevant content in the Superbase docs. Um, oh, wow. Okay. And so here, uh, the relevant content, we then create a prompt, we send it to OpenAI, and we stream the response back in Markdown. Uh, format. So there's a bunch of stuff, uh, embeddings. Yeah, um, that's all very, very good. You can read um, the blog post. So Superbase blog embeddings. Um, there's some information on how all that works, similarity search and things like that. But Today, we're going to do a bit of a quick start, take a shortcut and use this Dino Fresh uh, OpenAI Doc Search starter template. Um, we have a hosted version of this here. You can try it out. Dino Fresh is actually really, really cool. There's a bunch of cool things being built. There's a SaskIt starter as well. And it is um, the next generation web framework, speed, reliability, simplicity. There's no build step just in time rendering on the edge. Uh, it is pretty neat. I've, I've come to, to really like it. And so what we're doing here, let's have a look actually, what is PG Vector? Let's try this. So what we're doing is we are firing off a query to um, our edge um, here. Uh, so this is running on Dino deploy as an edge, edge function. And then we're streaming back the response and these are service and events coming from um, the open AI API. And we then assemble the response PG vector is a Postgres extension that provides support for vector operations. Yes. Um, so this is really where where all this magic happens. And now let's have a look, let's clone down um, this template and see how we can get this up and running on our own Superbase account. So we can git clone um, this project here, Dino fresh open AI doc search, and then CD into Dino fresh open AI doc search. And then we can open this up in um, VS code and have a look at what's going on in there. Now, the neat thing with this is we can um, use the Superbase CLI locally to run this up locally. The first thing we'll need to do is we need to create our .env file. So uh, you can do that with uh, copy.env.example into .env. And then you have a copy and you can um, set up these variables here. Uh, and then we have our Superbase um, stack here, our local Superbase um, project. And we have some migrations. So this is what we actually run. Uh, when you run Superbase start with the Superbase CLI, um, we start up the entire uh, open source Superbase stack locally on your machine using Docker. Um, and then when um, the machine is ready, we apply um, these migrations here to set up your database. Uh, and then also once the database is ready, we run through the seed.sql file. And so now um, if we go to our local Superbase studio, what we can see is we have our pages here and we actually have our docs already, um, the embeddings created um, in here. So without actually needing to go to um, OpenAI when we run Superbase start, We've got our docs um, seeded in here. So the information, so this is our docs, it's just an MDX file. Um, and you know, obviously if you have kind of existing MD file, MDX files, 
um, you can use that script here. Um, and then we have a tool here, generate embeddings um, a script. You can run this um, script. So we can look at the task here and what we can do is we can run Dino uh, task embeddings. And uh, what this actually does is then it, it uh, pulls down all the needed um, dependencies and runs this. Now, because we already have our embeddings in our local database, we don't need to do that again. And what we can say, Dino task start, start this up. And now we can head over to localhost. What is PG vector? And so this is now using our um, local database, but is still going to uh, open AI um, to then get get the response. But what we can see, maybe we, we have a look at um, what is Superbase. Let's see. Open source five as alternative. Yes, lovely. Uh, and so here we're making a request to API vector search. So let's have uh, a look at this file here. Um, so what's happening in here um, is that we're uh, creating our Superbase client. We're creating an open AI client as well. And then in the first step, we're um, sanitizing our uh, query. And then we're checking that um, we're complying to the open AI terms and conditions, not you know sending any crazy stuff to the API. Uh, and then what we do is we create an embedding response. So we're generating a vector um, for the user's query. And then we're using the embedding response to perform um, a vector similarity search with the content that we have in our docs. Um, and so this is where we're calling uh, an RPC, a remote procedure call, which is called match page sections. So if we go into um, our Superbase migrations here, our init SQL, we can see that we set up this match page sections um, uh, Postgres function. Uh, and that is exactly what we're calling here from our edge function. Uh, and this performs the vector similarity search um, against exactly these um, embeddings here. Um, so it basically finds the relevant content to the user's question. And then once we have that um, relevant content uh, here, our page sections, we then uh, go through all the page sections, we put them together into this context. Uh, and then we are assembling our prompt and we're saying, okay, you're very enthusiastic Superbase representatives, loves to help people giving the following sections from the documentation, and that's the context, answer the questions using only information output it in markdown format so that we can then stream it and show it to the user properly. Uh, so we're then injecting our context from our docs, as well as our sanitized query, and we're assembling our completion request and send that off to OpenAI. And then when the response is okay, we're creating this text event stream. So this is server sent events um, back to our client. And we can look at um, our client. This is um, the search dialog route here. So here we're using the event source. Uh, and this is a standard web API for server sent events um, to consume the server sent events. And we're listening to all the messages that are coming in. So again, if we look at um, here, the um, event stream, so these are all the messages coming in. And basically, as we listen to them, we then, um, as we have the, the data, uh, we basically add um, the answer value, we append uh, kind of the text. And so that's how we're assembling this on the front end. Great, so now this is all working locally, lovely, but how can we get this um, into a live Superbase project? So what we can do is we go to um, app.superbase.io and we go ahead, we create a new project, we call it Dino Chat GPT Demo, let's call it that. Um, now, 
strong database password and I recommend you use some sort of password man manager for that because you later will um, need the password when linking your project. Okay, so yeah, make sure you save the password. Um, we'll just create it in US East for now. And then while this is spinning up, um, maybe we can look at some of the technical details again. So the way um, this works, we have kind of four steps. Um, so first we have the pre-processing of the knowledge base and storing the embeddings. So this is what uh, happened when we ran our um, embedding script. Um, and so the way we're doing this here is we have created uh, a generate embeddings uh, GitHub action. Um, and this is really neat. So Dino has um, a setup Dino GitHub action that allows you to then run Dino um, scripts in your GitHub action. So this is really nice. And here in this context, we can also use um, NPM specifiers. So uh, as you can see here in our import map, um, we're using NPM specifiers. Now we can only use them for the scripts that are running, um, you know, not in edge functions. So for example, in the, in the GitHub action, uh, so our uh, task embedding scripts. And so basically anytime we're making changes, um, we're then running the script, we're checking, did our content change in our docs? Um, is there any additional content? And then we're generating the embeddings and making sure that that is up to date. So anytime a user asks a question, we're ready to go. Um, so now we have um, our uh, Superbase project spun up. So we can go to the settings, we go to um, API here, and we will need to in our um, .env file. So in our .env file where um, previously we were using from Superbase status, we were using these um, details localhost um, superbase service role key. So this is our service role key here. Now in a life, um, this is a secret key. Keep this uh, secret. Um, in test mode, you can um, use this. So I'm just gonna set this now in my .env file. Okay, I finished with that. So I set my um, secret environment variables and also my uh, open AI key. And so what we can do now is that we have that set, set up. We can link our project with the Superbase CLI. So we can say Superbase link and then project uh, ref. And for the project ref, we um, have always have it here in the URL project slash. So this is our project ref. Um, link this here. And this is exactly where you need your database um, password. So from your password manager, copy and paste it in. And so now what we can do is we can say superbase db push to push up our local migration files. And so now we're pushing this up, we can check. We now have our tables. Um, but in this case, we're only pushing up our uh, schema, we're not actually pushing up our um, data changes. So uh, we will now need to uh, run our script. Now, obviously, if we push this um, to GitHub, for example, we can have the script run in the GitHub action, but we can also run it locally task embeddings. And so now because in the end file, we have um, our life superbase um, environment variables, we can now, um, we now store the data uh, in here, we're storing a checksum. So this is to make sure that we're um, only regenerating that page, um, if it actually has changed. And then we have our page sections. So we have our chunks here, and here our vectors. So that's what we're performing um, the similarity search on. And then now what we can do is we can push this up to GitHub, um, deploy it to Dino deploy. Now there's tons of content out there how to do that. Um, so I'm not going to show you that. But once you have it deployed and the environment variables properly set, you can say 
what is Postgres. And now we're generating our embedding, we're doing our similarity search, and we're streaming our response. Now, there you go. This is how you can build um, a super fresh uh, open AI vector search with Dino fresh. So uh, your own little chat GPT trained on your own data, uh, with your own uh, context from your own documentation. Um, if you prefer to build with Next.js, we have a, a video and a guide on that too. Uh, and otherwise, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.